Hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be going over a couple of built-in lower thirds titles and callouts in DaVinci Resolve. So if you are looking to find a fast, easy way to add lower thirds into your videos, kind of like this, this is the video for you. So make sure you're subscribed and without any further ado, let's get into this. Okay, so here we are inside of DaVinci Resolve. We have the clip that we're gonna be working with here. I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of that audio. So now we just have a raw clip of the beach here. What we scrub through, we see that it says beach. I'm gonna drop in a lower thirds title down here that also says beach, just in case anyone's confused. We wanna clear that up. Where DaVinci puts the pre-built lower thirds titles makes a lot of sense. So go ahead and open up your effects library right here, and then go ahead and drop your toolbox down, and then click on titles. Once you're in titles, you'll see that we have titles, just regular, and we also have fusion titles. We are looking to use the fusion titles today. So you can see right here, lower third, lower third, lower third, lower third, all these are lower thirds. Down until we get to this backlit rise right here where it's no longer a lower third. We have more down here. Now I'm only gonna be showing you one of these today, so we're gonna have a little bit of a shorter video. But the reason I'm doing that is because a lot of these have very similar controls and after having one of them explained to you, you can probably work out the other ones. If you do run into any trouble though, please leave a comment down below so that I'm able to help you out with any specific fusion titles that you need help with. We're just going to start at the top. We're going to go ahead and use this flipping two line. We're going to drop this above our clip. So here, let me make this smaller so we can see better. We're going to put this on top right up there. And now once this red line turns blue, we should be able to see it without any lag. So before we wait for that, we're going to change line one to be beach. And we're going to change our font to be gold bill. And then for line two, we're going to go just in case, also in gold bill. And we'll leave the color as it is, and then we'll wait for this red bar to turn blue. So now our bar is blue, and we'll go ahead and hit play and see what we get. So we'll go ahead, boop, comes out, says beach, flips over, says just in case, because that's what we told it to say. So that's a pretty cool lower third that would take a lot of time to like build from scratch. So it's pretty nice that DaVinci actually just gives these to us ready to go. Over here, you can see the controls that we have for this particular lower third title. We have main light controls, which is gonna affect the color and stuff on here. So we're gonna go ahead and drop that down. And as we move this, you can see that we are affecting the color of that lower third title. We can make it green, we can make it red, literally any color you can find in here, you can have. You can also fine tune your colors with these individual color sliders. You can go more red, less red, more green, less green, and the same with blue. We have color intensity, which is just gonna affect the saturation, basically, of your light there. So if we take our light intensity down to zero, obviously it's just black, but if we take it up all the way to two, it's very bright, very saturated with that pink color right there. And now we have cone angle, because this is lit with something like a spotlight. You can see right here, you have a little bit of a circle going on. You can kind of see that it's suggested there. And as we move that cone angle, you can see that the light intensity changes where it is shining. So you can see that now it's like up above to the right, and then it comes down, and then in the bottom left, it gets really intense. And then the penumbra angle is the darkness around the light. So all of the shadow that it has is what your penumbra is gonna be. If you work with these together, penumbra and cone angle, you're able to get a pretty wide range of lighting effects on this thing in regards to your shadows and your light intensity and things like that. Drop off is going to affect how quickly the light drops off, the light intensity drops off as you get further away from the center of that cone. So those are our main light controls. So next up we have our line two text controls and these are just the text controls for the thing that shows up after this title flips. At the top of this menu here, you're working with all of your regular text controls. You've got your line two color, which is gonna affect the text color on line two. And then you have tracking, which spaces them out and scrunches them in. We have opacity, which affects how see-through they are. We have size, which affects their size. And now we get into some specular controls. So specular means that it's kind of like reflective almost, like mirror-like. 
So all of these things are going to change what it reflects from that actual light that's being shined on it from our light controls. So our specular intensity will affect how much our light is actually affecting our text. So if we adjust our specular intensity, you can see that it changes the amount of reflection that we're getting off of that light. So if we bring it all the way down, you're not getting much reflection, you're just getting that raw color. And then as we go up, you're getting a lot more light reflection in there. Specular exponent is a very similar thing, but if you drag this one all the way up, we don't lose any light. And then specular exponent, honestly, I'm not completely sure, but from testing that I've done, it seems to just be kind of a less extreme, like a, a more fine adjustment instead of the specular intensity. If any of you know exactly what this thing does, please let me know because I've wondered for a long time and I just haven't taken the time to Google it. So that does it for today's video. Like I said before I showed you these controls and where to find these titles, please, if you have any questions about any of the specific ones, because there are just too many of them for me to cover all of them and they're too similar, so that would be a really, really long, boring video and I don't wanna do that to you guys. So if you have any questions about any specific lower third titles, please let me know in the comments down below. I would be more than happy to help. I will see you tomorrow for the next episode of Fast Fridays.